Another state takes a step towards a very dangerous trend for the Second Amendment. What do I mean? Stick by and watch the next episode of Guns and Gadgets. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time so much. I know how valuable your time is. And I just want to let you know that I am very grateful. Let us talk about this disturbing trend that's going on uh, around the, uh, the anti-gun Democrat controlled areas. And that is the thought or the connotation that we should be able to sue gun manufacturers for the actions of an evil person who just happens to be holding an item made by them. And since they want to take away everything we have, now's a good time to tell you about the Warrior Poet Society Network. Check them out. I'll have a link down below. Uh, John Lovell and the team over there have done great things, not only on their YouTube channel, uh, but uh, in the community they have grown, which I am happily and proudly a member of. Check them out, guys and gals. I think that this platform stuff is, uh, we're on borrowed time. And uh, if you check out Warrior Poet Society, you can join there and get all kinds of cool, solid information on anything from uh, being a solid individual to defending the people you love uh, to actually learning how to use certain tools that will save your life. Uh, check them out. Great training, great information. Link will be down below. Now let's get back into this one. It's, it's ridiculous. It is the reason that Remington is no longer with us. It is because Connecticut allowed that lawsuit to go forward because of how they advertised a firearm and the fact that one maniac used an item to do horrible things. It's never the tool that does the work. Like, this will never hurt anybody unless somebody uses that tool in a manner to cause harm. And that's no different for firearms. However, with what happened after the Newtown incident, the powers that be allowed Remington to be sued, and now they're gone. Now, do not kid yourself. This is something that the left wants, and they want badly. They want to get rid of the Protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act, and that's a law that perfects firearms manufacturers and dealers from being held liable for crimes committed with an inanimate object. You know, we don't get to sue insert company here. We don't get to sue Ticonderoga number two lead pencils because John Wick turned them into an assault pencil. It's just ridiculous. However, this is their secret. It's not really a secret. We, most of us know about it. But this is what they're pushing. We can't have that. We should be able to sue these people because of the tools they make. We can't let that happen. Absolutely not. But there is another state that is allowing it to happen now. Uh, Pennsylvania has deemed PLCAA to be illegal and unconstitutional. Now the case in question here is a case against Springfield Armory and uh, the Saloon department store. And this came out of the Pennsylvania Superior Court. Um, I'll have this down below if you want to read the case. But the, what we need to know is that the, uh, the judge, Joseph D. Seletin, uh, S-E-L-E-T-Y-N, uh, he said that the order in the case was reversed and the case was remanded for further proceedings consistent with this opinion and for entry of a declaratory uh, judgment in favor of the Gustafsons against Springfield Inc., Saloon Department Store LLC, and the United States of America, declaring that the Protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act is repugnant to the Constitution of the United States and therefore without the force or effect of law. So this judge it just declared, and this is a superior court judge, just declared that the PLCAA is unconstitutional. Now the federal government, there was a case in New York against Beretta, and they, they said at that time that uh, the PLCAA was applicable to the states under the 10th Amendment, and, and that it didn't like uh, commandeer the states. And what the Pennsylvania judge is saying that they disagree with how New York, the New York case was interpreted and therefore the analysis used under the 10th Amendment is a no-go. So this is interesting. This is, I don't know if you've heard a lot about this. This happened uh, two days ago 
And uh, yeah, this is going to cause a crazy storm. Now, of course, all of the gun grabbers are very excited. Shannon Watts was spouting off about it. Uh, Bloom uh, Bloom Town, that's what it should be called. Bloomberg and every town, uh, they're all excited about this. If this decision is allowed to stand, people like Michael Bloomberg and George Soros will pay for lawsuits to challenge cases in which somebody was injured or maimed or killed with a firearm and sue that company that made that firearm in an effort to sue gun manufacturers out of existence. Never mind business. Out of existence. Extreme backdoor gun control. We can't let activist judges legislate from the bench. Period. Point blank. It cannot be allowed to happen. I wanted to get this out to you all because this is very, very dangerous. You know, we're all, most of us are concerned about uh, Biden's against this or Biden's against that or Kamala Harris, which is a threat in and of itself, but this is actually happening. So please pass this along. Please have a conversation with your friends, family, neighbors, and folks at the range, at the gun shop, or whatever. This cannot be allowed to happen. If you don't live in Pennsylvania, please pass it along anyway, because this is, this needs to be known. This is extremely dangerous. Thank you all again for your time. Please subscribe to the channel if you found any value in anything I do. I would greatly appreciate your uh, hitting the thumbs up button. Share it with uh, about 7.4 million gun owners and friends. And as the uh, election draws closer and the suppression for the channel is greater, I've seen it in the last 7 to 10 days, It's <laughs> they always put that squeeze, they always turn that vice another notch. Uh, and I depend on you guys to help me get the info out. So if you could do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.